Hi guys! Today we are making these custom Barbie doll shoes. Mine was inspired by Elsa, but you can use this technique to make many different styles of shoes. This completes my doll makeover repaint series on Elsa, and if you haven't checked out the repaint or the dress yet, be sure to check those out. First thing to do is to look at your doll's feet. Like most Barbies and dolls alike, this doll has very small feet. She also appears to be standing on her toes. This is very important to note. The position of the doll's foot kind of decide how big we need to make the heel, because if you make the heel too small or too tall, the doll won't stand up straight once the shoe is done, so this is very important. Previously I've done my shoe bases from Paul McClay, but since that can kind of snap, I want these to be flexible since they could be played with, so I'm going to show you how to make them differently this time. Firstly, you need a regular piece of paper and a pencil. Push the paper up against the bottom of the doll's foot and use the pencil to sketch around the basic shape. Even out the lines and then cut it out. And that's a stencil for a shoe base. Now get out some thicker paper, I'm using sketching paper, and trace two of our base and cut them out. Both of these are going to be for the same shoe, so be sure to make two others for the other foot. Now get out some tacky glue, some kitchen wrap and a small rubber band. Wrap the doll's foot with the kitchen wrap and secure it with the band. This is to make sure we don't get glue on our doll. Then cover the bottom of the doll's foot with tacky glue and apply the first layer. Let it dry for a bit, then apply more glue and the second layer. Be sure to stick them well together. Once they're stuck together, apply more glue to the edge and the whole bottom. This helps to make the surface more durable. Now for the heel. You're gonna need some more sketching paper, something to wrap it around, I'm using a pencil and some more glue. Bend the paper a little to make it more flexible and then wrap it around the pencil to form a cone shape. Fix it with glue and cut away the excess. Now hold the cone up to the shoe base and see the curve of the foot, so you can sketch out where you need to cut it to make it fit. Once the heel matches the shoe, we're going to fill it with some toilet or tissue paper and glue. Then glue the heel to the shoe and cover the outside of the heel with a layer of glue as well. Let this all dry completely before moving on. To add some color I'm going to use this blue shimmery mica powder, you can also use eyeshadow, and I'm going to mix it with this shiny glaze.
When it's all dry, gently remove the shoes and cut away any excess glue that might have gotten up on the foot. Then add color to the inside as well. Then cover the doll's foot in kitchen wrap again, being sure this time it is the top of the foot that is protected. Then get out some sticky tack, that stuff you use to hang posters, and put a tiny bit underneath the foot. Then stick the shoe back on so we can work on the top parts. I'll be using this shiny blue fabric that I also use for my Elsa dress for the top of the shoe, but you can use paper if you want. Cut a piece of fabric and hold it up to the back of the shoe. Then cut a curve to make it fit. Seal any cut edges of the fabric with fabric glue so they don't fray. When your piece fit, rough up the top edge so it looks a little more like icicles. Then glue it to a shoe. I'm using a fine point fabric glue. Make a piece with the front part the same way. And that's the basic shoe. Elsa's shoes seem to be made from sparkly ice magic, but I don't have any of that, so I'm gonna spread some glitter on instead. When the shoe is nice and sparkly, add some glaze to keep the glitter in place. Once it's all dry, remove it from the foot and peel off the kitchen wrap. And there you go, you have your own custom doll shoes. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave me a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!